Waldorf has always been an active, engaged way of teaching and learning, and that's what the, the new models for teaching math are, is engaging students in active learning, not just being passive recipients of information. And so instead of teaching out of textbooks where you're just following worksheet after worksheet, instead you're learning about big ideas, and you go really in depth into those big ideas, and you are engaged in the process. The students are actually learning for themselves. I'm a Waldorf graduate and I can say for sure that I was well prepared for college. My middle school and high school curriculums were so rigorous. We were doing probably what would have been college level work many decades ago. Reading original sources and having to think critically, write lots of essays. I had lots of science classes and math classes all through the years that prepared me for my science and math classes in college. And I never felt like I was not prepared. My Waldorf education had a huge impact on how I teach math, just because I've been through this education and understand how rich it is and how meaningful it can be when you have an active hand in your own education. And so I really want to give that experience to my students. When the students learn this way, then they want to take it further. And so what I see is that even when I think the lesson is done, they want to learn more. And so they will push the math into high school levels because they're just so engaged, they want to know what happens next. And so we're always kind of pushing the boundaries just because they're so engaged and they're ready to learn the next step in the math process. I see the eighth graders now, they're getting ready to go off to high school and they are so well prepared. They're so engaged in their learning. They do everything I ask of them and more. They're just incredible students because they've been engaged in their learning all through the years. They take responsibility for it. What we're doing here is we're creating scientists. We're motivating the students to continuously be curious about what's around them, and that's what a scientist is, is someone who is continuously curious and always seeking and looking for the answers in new and varied ways. Sixth grade is when our official science curriculum starts, and so in the sciences, it's quite similar the way that we do things here, which is that we start with observation. The teacher presents an experiment, and the students gather around whatever that is and in complete silence observe the entire experiment without talking, without asking questions, without being told anything, the teacher doesn't say anything. And the next day, we recall what we saw and we talk directly about exactly what happened and exactly what we saw and what we observed. And then we start to build a bridge from this observation into an inquiry and we can come in this way from the observation through the inquiry to the concept. So this phenomenological approach of looking deeply at something to understand it is the basis of everything that we do. Observing a phenomenon and experimenting with it, discovering through the observation, making an inquiry into what we saw or experienced, and then gaining an understanding of what that scientific concept is. So through the discovery, through the experience, we come to, the, to learn and understand what the world is around us. This observational capacity is really honed and trained over the years, uh, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and the children learn to question what it is that they're seeing in new and different ways, and this is you know, the development of crit critical thinking. I feel that this education prepares students better than any other education model I've seen. Um, it's developmentally attuned to this child so that the right thing is being taught at the right time. And I just believe so wholeheartedly in it that I send my own children here after going through it myself. And I just think it's a beautiful way to learn and it makes students want to learn. And so they go out into the world wanting to learn and being engaged in part of this world.